Hello, Kazjem here, and today we're looking at Fine Road Tools. That's right, so yesterday we took a look at Fine Road Anarchy, now it's time for Fine Road Tools, which a lot of people see these mods as going hand in hand, and you're gonna see why in today's video. But first, let's go ahead and take a quick look at what Fine Road Anarchy, or sorry, Tools, Fine Road Tools can do for you. So, first of all, whenever you lay a road normally, you obviously, you know, just you put it down and then you try to raise it to a point. And once you get high enough, it'll start raising up. That's cool, right? So this is how you would lay a road normally. But Fine Road Tools allows you to have a lot better control over that. So now, if I were to lay that same length of road, starting at level zero, and I were to open up Fine Road Tools, which is clicking this little orb down here, and then you'll see that you have several different modes. Just for example, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit this first one, which is force to ground. And then we're going to raise that same level of five. You'll note that you don't see a bridge forming and that's because it's forcing to ground. And that is awesome. So the different parts of Fine Road Tools are, first of all, standard mode, which is normal unmodded road placement, this is literally just as plain and simple as it gets. There's no anything with it. This is just how you place roads, and it will slowly but surely figure out what you want to do. It'll take you across rivers, etc. But if I wanted to, say, force that to cross the river like so, I'll turn off straight slope just for argument's sake. Straight slope is a different part that we're about to get to, but check that out. It just instantly dammed that up. That's going to cause problems. And then, you can also force it to be bridged. That'll look better if we have an avenue. If we grab an avenue, you'll see that you can force it to be a bridge. And that can be really, really cool. Versus just elevated. And then here is the standard variant. Now, what I had on before is something called straight slope, and I turned it off. But you'll note that you have this little check mark right here. You also can use shift to do it. So shift S, shift S to keep toggling it. So all this is going to do is it's going to allow you to have a straight slope. So if I come over here and I look at this guy, here is a straight slope variant. Now here is a non straight slope variant. If I go ahead and do this. So you'll note that's the same, because we're on the list. But, if we want to do something from normal levels, like say here, where we're actually transitioning different types of road, you'll start to see the real power of straight slope. It's like right there, okay, a little janky, a little janky, not bad. But now if I go over here, force straight slope by hitting Shift S, and then drag it the same length, point to point, that it is a nearly perfect slope and now you'll know well what if this wasn't correct well you can always go in with the fine road tools and you can go ahead and use the upgrade tool of your roads to automatically change it and you can even go into the middle and make something into a bridge you can go to a previous segment and make it like so and that's the first level of usefulness, but now we're gonna see where it gets even more useful. So right here, let's just say, this is my stream city. Don't worry, I'm not gonna save what I'm doing right now. But if you do wanna see this city more, you can go to twitch.tv slash casgem and see me do it live. Five days a week, and it's a great time over there, great community. Anyway, so here is dragging normal. Nope get your regular tunnel entrance, etc. Cool. Well, what if we didn't want that? What if we go in here and destroy those? Destroy this as well. And then, let's say we want to just create a little valley going through, because aesthetically it's what we want. We can do that. Check that out. With the power of straight slope and forcing to ground with fine road tools, that is an amazing thing. And you can use that to create some nice cuts through the terrain. You can do it to create some really interesting areas. And one thing in particular I can show you that I did is I laid this rail 
like that. So you'll note that this whole area is on a hill. Got a little bit of a sewage problem right now because I kind of broke things. But you can see that there used to be quite the hill here, and I needed to get a train through there. So all I did was lay it straight through, force to ground, straight slope, and voila. That's what I ended up with. And obviously the junction has grown a little bit, but still, you get the concept that there are a lot of really cool things you can do with fine road tools. And especially in conjunction with Anarchy. So, a couple of tidbits you can do whenever you're combining it with Anarchy are... You can, for instance, have a curved bridge, which is actually a little harder than it should be sometimes. Check that out. You have a curved bridge. That's not something you can do as easily in Vanilla Skylines. Looks really cool. A little bit wonky, but there are some designs that, that can look pretty cool on. You can also decide, you know what? We are going to have this guy go like this force to ground, and then we're going to curve under here in preparation to go under the highway. So you'll see it's forced to ground as an underpass, and then you can just take this guy right here, the upgrade tool, and then you can just force this to be elevated by making sure you select upgrade, the correct road type, and then you force to be elevated. Check it out. Easy underpasses. It does not get any simpler than that, folks. It really doesn't. Isn't that just marvelous to look at? And obviously, I would probably just move it to lower that a little bit more because it's a little bit spoopy. But you get the concept. Anyways, that is a brief introduction to the ways that you can use Fine Road Tools alongside Fine Road Anarchy. Thanks for tuning in today's video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like the video, leave a comment about what you like, leave a comment about other mods that you might enjoy seeing, and don't forget to subscribe here, and also go check out the Twitch and follow me there if you aren't there already. Anyways, without further ado, this is Kazgem, signing out. See ya!